Hi everybody, my name is Jake Johnson. Welcome to Jake Showcase. I do videos on Wednesdays. Today I'm going to talk about an, another important aspect in quitting drugs and alcohol, and that is a term called the slippery slope. Now, what does it refer to when you say the term a slippery slope, referring to drugs and alcohol? Basically what it means is, is that, you know, as you sort of progress in your uh, drinking uh, use and your partying use, you, you basically start to slip down a, a scale where the bottom becomes lower and lower and that becomes normal for you. And that normalness then goes further lower and that becomes normal for you until it gets lower and lower and lower and you're basically on the ground floor. And uh, so basically, I'll describe sort of kind of what happened to me, and I think it's a very common uh, characteristic. But well before I, I, you know, even truly attempted to quit drinking, and I, I, I definitely knew I had a problem, and I definitely knew I had to do something uh, over four, uh, four and a half years ago, and even before that, when I quit for a year before that, you know, I knew I had a problem. Right? I knew I drank different than everybody else. I knew I drank more. I drank harder. I went, I went to the end of the rope every single time I went drinking, and I loved it. Right, so I loved drinking from a very young age, and you know, it basically just kept getting more and more. Every time I would drink, I'd be the life of the party. I'd be the one with the stories afterwards, and you know, I'd be the one with the, the giant mass of hangover. And so basically, you know, once once you start start recognizing that this is basically you are a hard hard party. You love to party. This is what you do. But you don't want to say you have a drinking problem, or you don't want to say uh, you don't want to sort of claim that for yourself because really you want to keep drinking, and that's the truth of it, right? So you want to keep it off. Oh, I don't have a problem. No, that's fine. It's all normal. It's all normal stuff. And, and as life sort of progresses and, and, and careers become more serious. You have to remember, people who have you know drinking and drug issues, we have dreams too. Even during our drinking and drug use, you ask, you know, what do you want to do with your life? And oh, I want to go to school. Or, I want to, I want to maybe start my own business. In fact, bars are full of people who are always saying what they're about to do and how they're going to do it and this and that. And meanwhile, they're drinking and you know, not not a lot of that's happening. But nonetheless, everybody's got dreams and ambitions, even when you're drinking. And and so. I did too. And so what you want to do is you don't want to have any problems during your regular working life or your regular school life or your regular relationship life. And so you sort of got to kind of hide it. You got to kind of hide the fact that you love drinking so much. And you know, you start to come up with these rules in your head, well I won't drink, I won't drink during the work week or I won't drink during the school week and I'll just drink on the weekends. I will just drink on the weekends and for me I actually had to even be smarter than that and try to work Saturdays uh, so that I wouldn't drink on Friday night and Saturday night, I would just drink on Saturday night, right? And because I took my job real serious and even that one night, I wasn't until about uh, Tuesday or Wednesday before I was uh, totally straight again because I definitely wouldn't be sleeping on Sunday night because I'd be so wound up from partying so hard on Saturday night because that was when my one night out. But then you see what starts to happen is you start getting comfortable in the job that you're in or the grades that you're getting, and you start coasting, right? You start, you know, okay, this is working out great. You know, I'm able to keep a good, sophisticated job, and I'm able to party. This is good, you know. I've been doing this a while now. You know, I deserve a break. I don't deserve, maybe I don't need to work on Saturdays anymore, right? Maybe I'll just open up that door there. So, you know, I'll, maybe I'll go up maybe on a Friday and on a Saturday night. And you know, so before you know it, now you're going out on two nights, right? And you know, no big deal, it's still on the weekend, you're still Mr. Sophisticated, you're still doing your schoolwork, you're still, you're still getting it all done. But then now, you know, you let yourself go to one or two nights during a week, which obviously is going to cause double the, you know, the hangover and double the trouble usually that you get in when you're drinking and stuff like that. And then let's see, your, your career progresses even further than that. And, you know, you start to do like these social sort of, you know, work parties, these work sort of uh, gatherings, maybe at restaurants or maybe country clubs or, or if it's at school, maybe like there's a, a play day or, or a, some sort of a, a school event. And, you know, maybe you just have a drink, you know, maybe that one time, right? Maybe that one time. And before you know it, that one time turns into two times, you know, and then every, every time there's a social gathering, you're, you're allowing yourself to maybe have a couple. And what would happen to me is I got so comfortable, I got so comfortable because I was progressing nicely in my, my career,
that, uh, you know, I thought, you know what, I can have a drink or two, you know, after work, you know, just one or two drinks, and, uh, you know, maybe watch the game, or maybe watch a TV show, or, you know, check out something on the computer, but no, nothing heavy, nothing like on the weekends where I really go out, right? And before you know it, those one or two drinks is turning, you know, maybe three or four, three or four during the weeknights, right? And then you start to think, well, maybe I hope I'm not smelling like alcohol. I hope I'm not going into work smelling like alcohol or seeming dizzy or seeming odd or anything. And you start smelling yourself and, you know, well, maybe if I have some tomato juice or maybe if I uh, gargle with some Listerine or maybe if I sort of, you know, put on some extra cologne, nobody will notice, you know. But you see, the problem is, is that people do notice, right? And if they can't directly smell it off you, there's some physical cues that start to happen to your body as it tries to normalize when you're sober. And one of the things that I noticed, and I still notice out, out you know, now being sober, uh, uh, you know, uh, well over four years, is that you see people shaking, right? And they're, they're not, the, the reason, they can't help it because they're trying, their bodies are trying to normalize and they're off, coming off a party and they, they can't hold steady, right? Their movements are sort of jittery and they're in a bad mood and this and that. It really drags down sort of their work performance and it physically starts to show on them. You know, maybe they, something will happen to them or, you know, they'll look exhausted or there's so many different things that, that start to happen to you during the slip or slip, but it's all normal to you, right? It's normal. You know, I only had three or four drinks, right? No big deal. And before you know it, you don't really care about the job anymore because you care more about the partying and you start calling out sick to party and you start planning around your partying. So the slippery slope, and eventually, eventually you end up losing your job either directly or indirectly, or, or you, you end up flunking out of school either directly or indirectly due to your due to your drug and alcohol use, right? So the slippery slope is something that happens for people who have it, and you know it's it's normal. It's a normal thing. I think every every person wants to be good. They really want to see their career progress or their school progress or their business pro progress the way they envision it. But as the their love of alcohol becomes more and more apparent as the primary thing in their life, like it was for me, right, it slowly takes over and it's harder and harder to deny that what you really want to do is you want to be drinking, right? So if you recognize any of these symbols that either happening to yourself or happening to other people that you know, where you start to see these lower and lower bottoms, where they keep saying that this is normal, now this is normal, now this is normal, as they go further and further down, they too, or you too, may be on that slippery slope and may have a drinking problem. And, you know, basically, for me, the only solution was is to quit completely, right? No alcohol at all, ever, right? And that is the solution for uh, not avoiding the slippery slope, avoiding the things that you don't mean to, to say, avoiding the, the smell or the cleanup or the, the panic, right? The morning panics when you have to get to work by a certain time and you're just in shambles and you can barely wake up and you can't get enough caffeine in you. And, and then the nervousness and uh, uptightness when you're at work, it causes mistakes and, and slowly you're slipping and you're slipping and you're slipping and you can't figure out what's going on. What's going on is that the drug or the alcohol is taking over your life. That's what's going on. That's what was going on for me, right? There is no, there is no easy way out. It is a powerful, powerful thing, our love of these things. We do love them, and for me, the only solution was nothing. You have to get out of it, right? So I hope that helps somebody out there. Don't be afraid if you're on that thing. Recognize it in yourself and help yourself get out of a terrible, terrible and worser and worser and worser situations that can and will happen to you by avoiding the slippery slope, by not getting anywhere near that darn slope. Get away from that slope. Go to, go to somewhere else, right? That's how you beat it. That's how you get through it, all right? I hope that encourages you. Thanks so much for watching Jake's Showcase. Please like my video below. Subscribe to my channel up above. I do my videos on Wednesdays, and I hope you have a wonderful day.